Alrighty, today's another exciting day on the cutting edge. We're going to be headed off dolphin fishing. We're going to be trying out our new CP570 professional grade Raymarine sonar. It's unbelievable so far. We've been able to mark bait at all the spots we've been to, and we're really excited to test it today offshore on the canyon. Today I'll be fishing on the cutting edge in the tower. I'll be camped out there pretty much all day long. I'm able to do everything in the tower that I would normally have done for years in the bridge. I'll be able to see the birds from up there. I'll be able to mark and find floaters. And I'll also be watching our ES-98 unit that I have with a split screen. When you have the sounder right there at your disposal all day long, you're able to pick up the wrecks, mark the bait. In the old days, you would drift over a wreck and you didn't really know if you were in the tower if there was bait on it or not, but now, you go over wrecks, you know exactly which wreck you're on, you know exactly how deep it is, you know if there's bait on the wreck, and that helps you decide whether or not you want to stay and fish that area. Okay, I'd just like to emphasize how excited we are with the new 570. This unit has to be one of the best units I've ever fished with in all my 30 years. Between the automatic mode that can be adjusted, and the noise filtering system that eliminates all the noise from the surface down into the water column and still allows you to see the actual fish is amazing. Cruising up under weed lines where you have a lot of noise, it eliminates that, but still allows me to see the small blue runners, the small bait fish, and whatever else is there that I need to know is there. We're out from Miami today dropping on some of the deep wrecks. Normally when we're dropping on these wrecks in two to 300 foot, we're constantly adjusting our gain out of the manual mode. The new cool feature on the CP570 Chirp is the fact that it has an automatic and then it has an adjustment to that. So while I'm dropping on the wreck, I adjust the automatic mode and then that's it. The machine is set in the automatic mode exactly how I want it for the remainder of the day. One of the cool features about the CP570 Chirp sounder that having it is almost like having two units in one. It has the medium chirp and the low chirp independently pinging at the same time, which gives you performance that is unbelievable. Medium will always separate the fish from the bottom, whereas the low frequency might combine them all, or it may all look like a mass when really there is a gap of bait and fish there. We had a great day of fishing off Miami today, catching a lot of nice mahis. We probably caught a couple fish up around 20 pounds. Using our CT570 Chirp Sander, the performance is incredible. Dropping in 300 feet of water, we were able to catch some snowy groupers, some amber jacks, barracudas, yellow jacks. But to have a great day of fishing like this doesn't come easy. You need to have electronics to perform. And the Ray Marine performed. With our new CP570 Chirp Sounder, we were able to mark the wrecks, mark the fish, mark the bait from the minute we started this morning till the end of the day. And now we're headed back with a full box of fish.